I don't even know anymore, man. Ah, oh, I don't know. I didn't want to do it today, but they made me do it. Let's get into it. What's going on, Warriors? It's your boy, Lionheart. And, um, <sighs> feels good, man. Now, I might be on a little low energy side today. Feeling a little bit dizzy, got a bit of a headache, arm is killing me, not feeling great. But you know, I've dipped my head in some cold water. I've been meditating in my front room. So I feel a little bit better now. I had um, the vaccine, right? And it kind of makes me feel a little bit, I don't know, off. So right now I'm a little bit off, but you know, is all it is. But we ain't here to talk about any of that. We're here to talk about PlayStation buying Bungie for 3.6 billion. Now, let's go back. I writ a tweet about two weeks ago saying that. And then a tweet saying that. They needed to make a phone call. And I actually did say it in my video when I um, talked about Xbox purchasing Activision Blizzard. I said Sony need to make the call. And what do you know? They took my advice and they made the call. <laughs> no, let me stop. Let me stop. Um, so, this is not a reaction to Microsoft, even though that's what it looks like, yeah? I feel that there was communications within the game industry, like those higher executives, of talks about purchases being made. That's what I think is going on. We only find out about this stuff now. But this has been going on for months. What? So you're telling me all of a sudden Take Two is gonna buy Zynga? I think it was for like 12 billion or something like that, which is massive. And then you're going to have Microsoft buy Activision Blizzard for 69 billion. That one still just blows my mind and now you have sony playstation buying bungie for 3.6 billion these transactions or acquisitions have all been made within 31 days take two buy-in microsoft buy-in PlayStation buy-in. Now, there was an interview that, what is his name? Jim Ryan, the CEO of um, PlayStation, Sony Interactive. Yeah, something like that. And he said that this is not the last of the acquisitions. He said, I'm going to put the link so you can see the interview yourself. It's going to be down there in the description. Also, Destiny is not going to be an exclusive on the PlayStation um, Store. It's still going to be multi-platform. So you're still going to be able to play it on the Xbox and PC and everything like that. Yeah. Now we have to realise. 
We have a front row seat to the two titans of the gaming industry playing checkers. Because this is checkers, this ain't chess. Think about it. What is chess? Chess, you're trying to play the game where you checkmate your opponent and then capture the king. Checkers, you are trying to capture all the pieces on the board. Now we are, imagine you have a board game and you have Ubisoft, Konami, Sega, Capcom, um, Zynga. I would even go so far as to say take two, man. When you're talking about Sony and Microsoft, I would include take two, even though that they are a big company. I'm going to say take two, man. Yeah, you got take two. No, 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 not Nintendo, not Nintendo. They a little bit too big. Yeah. Free for free studios is off limits because they are, they are part of Xbox game studios, right? So we can't say those guys. Yeah. But we're going to put some names back on the board, right? That could have been because they're pieces that have been captured already. Yeah. Insomniac Games, it has been captured already, but it's still it was still on the board. Bethesda, they've been captured, but they're still on the board. They've just been captured. Yeah. You have Square Enix. You have all these all these big studios. Now these are pieces on the board, and you have the two titans. Sony. Microsoft. Or no, so let's say PlayStation, Xbox. Let's do that. And these guys are battling it out, playing the game of checkers, trying to capture all the pieces on the board. And we have a front row seat. Because this was not, as I said, it's not a reaction. This has been a certain acquisition that they've been trying to acquire for like the past five, six months. I read this. Jim Ryan, that's his name. It just came out my mouth. It is Jim Ryan, yeah. He actually said, this is something that we have been in talks with, Bungie, for the past five to six months. Also, I wanna state, when you look at the whole situation between Xbox and PlayStation I I don't think this is this is this is a big move but it's not an absolutely massive move yeah but in certain respects for the actual game of checkers that we are watching it's a massive move you look at Bethesda they bought Bethesda for how much was it I think it was like say 7.5 billion, 7.9, something like that. Then they acquired Activision Blizzard for 69 billion. Yeah. Crazy. Too much money. And then you have Sony, PlayStation, buying Bungie for 3.6 billion. Right. Now, in terms of the scale, it's not as big. But in terms of the maneuver and the game, it's massive. Because let's be honest, and let's call it, because this is information, yeah? Bungie does not own Halo. That is very important to know, because I'm part of a group, yeah? Well, everyone's part of a group, yeah? But in my line group, yeah? Not my line group, but I'm in a line group of gamers. And somebody said... Sony have just... Microsoft says, we'll take Activision Blizzard. 
and Call of Duty. And so Sony said, fine, we'll take Bungie and Halo. And I had to correct him because it was the, the my post. He was getting like a lot of reactions from everybody in the group. And I was like, no, 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 no. Bungie don't own um, Halo. It's part of 343 Industries, which is owned by the Microsoft Game Studios. Yes, Bungie made Halo, but they do not own it any longer. When uh, Bungie was, um, I think they were owned or working with Microsoft, they were working alongside 343 Studios. And 343 Studios was essentially watching Bungie work to try to absorb all their information and how they do things so that when Microsoft acquires the Halo franchise, 343 Studios will be um, Industries Studios, whatever they're called, will be able to carry on further with Halo, Halo 5, Halo 6, Halo Infinite, whatever they're doing. Yeah. That's the, what's going on with uh, Halo. So um, I think it's very important to know that Bungie has got one game. Destiny. They have one game. And that's the reason why I say the acquisition is not massive in terms of the scale. I mean, you look at um, Bethesda, right? They got Warfens. Boom, just like that. They got Deathloop. They got Warfenstein. They got... Uh, Fallout, they got Elder Scrolls, they got Doom, they got they got too, they got too much. They got way too much. If that the position was crazy, and then you look at Activision Blizzard, and they got World of Warcraft, they got Call of Duty, they got Candy Crush. That's crazy to me. Not to mention also they have Crash Bandicoot, which is crazy to me. Yeah, but they also have Crash Bandicoot because Activision Blizzard um, bought Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, and now Microsoft owns Activision Blizzard, which means now they've got Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, but besides the point. Yeah, so they've got an astronomical uh, part of the game, um, the market share in the gaming industry. Right? Crazy. But. Look, man, Sony, they've got, what is it, um, Santa Monica, I think that's what it is, call it, um, mo um, what is it, um, God of War, they've got Guerrilla Games that make Horizon Zero Dawn, they've got Insomniac Games, which are making the Spider-Man games and the Wolverine game, um, Insomniac Games, like, Godlike, you know, Ratchet and Clank that they just released the other day. Yeah, they've got that studio that made Returnals. I can't remember the name of that studio, right? What was it? Even though it's in, it's in the bin now, but they've got that game which I think people did like. I think it's called Days Gone, something like that. Yeah. So they've got a lot, man. A lot of people want to do work with Sony. And Sony are putting up the money. Like, you look at Guilty Gear. Guilty Gear, that's PlayStation. I don't ever see that coming on to the Xbox. You got like Street Fighter 5, Street Fighter. You're only going to find that on the PlayStation. So, PlayStation, even without acquiring, they've still got a lot of market share just on the way they do business that we are not privy to. Yeah, but it's not just the company saying, oh, I only want to work with um, Sony. Like Capcom did just say, oh, we only want to work with Sony, right? That doesn't make sense. It only makes sense if more people are playing your games, right? So there must be some type of deal going on there that we don't know about. But my point is, they still got a massive market share of people that want to only work with them through their dealings. You know, not only want to work with them, maybe I've worded that wrong, but they have done some deals with people where they say, look, We'll put them. Um, you want to make this game? We'll put up half of the money, right? Or 70% of the money, or 60% of the money, or we'll pay you this massive amount of money for you to put this game exclusively on our machine. What say you? Okay, let's do it.
I'm referring to Guilty Gear and Street Fighter, to be absolutely honest with you. You've also got massive, massive games, right? Like Final Fantasy uh, 7 Remake. I don't think that came out on the Xbox, right? And that's massive. So that's just the point I'm trying to make, man. Uh, but I just don't know how this exclusive is going to work because Microsoft come out and said Call of Duty, World of Warcraft, all these games, they're still going to be coming out on the PlayStation. We're not going to make them exclusive yet, right? But we're still going to keep them. And then Jim Ryan, the CEO of Sony, um, PlayStation, Sony Interactive, something like that, yeah, CEO. He comes out and says, we're not done with the acquisitions, but we want more, as many people to play our game as possible, and it's going to remain multi-platform. So, this is literally just a game of checkers, where they are just acquiring these companies just to flex, say, I own this market share in the industry, and we've got this gaming them this gaming dev giant and all the revenue that they make is what we're making because we own them because he also did say that Bungie is still going to operate as an independent which basically means Sony's not going to come in and say you keep making Dest um, destiny you keep making destiny Bungie say oh we want to make another brand new game and then Sony says no stick to destiny Essentially, what Sony's saying is they're going to allow Bungie to do whatever they want. They want to make a new game or whatever, they can do that, which I don't think is going to happen. I think Bungie is going to stick with Destiny. That's the game that they have and that's the game they're going to stay with making for like the next 10 years. <laughs> Let me not say that. Let me not say that because anything can happen, right? So yeah, that's all I really wanted to say. It's crazy. Um, there was another thing that is weird. Because this announcement. I actually saw this announcement 8 minutes after it was announced. Right. But I weren't feeling too great. You know my arm was killing me. From the uh, vaccine that I took. So I did make the video immediately. Yeah. Plus I was texting. Now they posted. About the Bungie joining the PlayStation. The press release at 6 15 pm january 31st 2022 and then nintendo of america put a post well no actually sony uh, nintendo of america posted it first at five o'clock pm january the 31st 2022 so this was before the playstation uh, post of bungie and what Sony of Amer um, Nintendo of America posted was an MLB The Show 22 and a video with the Sony Studios logo. And I don't think that that was a accident. I think that was a calculated decision. For Nintendo saying PlayStation, Nintendo, the world is changing. We collaborating. That's literally what I think that is. Because there's no way an hour and 15 minutes before Sony make their announcement, Nintendo put out a video talking about a game that is going to be coming out on April the 5th on the Switch. And the first thing that pops up on the screen is Nintendo and Sony Studios. Crazy. I don't even know what's going on anymore, man. All I'm going to do is sit back, relax, have something cool to drink, eat my popcorn, and watch the fireworks go off, man. Because this is chaos, and I'm here for it. All right, Warriors. So, yep, that's all I really want to say about that. Uh, I am going to post some links, right, 
Uh, I'm also I'll post the link to the Nintendo of America. Yeah, that video where you actually see the um, Sony logo in a video that they posted. Uh, I'll post a link to the interview that um, Jim Ryan did. Um, what was it with? They were it was, did an interview with. Um, I don't know. You'll see the link down below. And um, yeah, we're just gonna go with there. If any kind of like new information comes up, I'm just checking Twitter just to see if uh, anything new has come up. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any more new information. Okay. And uh, lower that. Right, so I don't think there's any more new information that's come out. Let me just doubly check. Nope, no new information, no, no, so yeah, that's all I really want to say about that, crazy, PlayStation, buying, acquiring, I think acquiring's a better, tasteful way of saying it, acquiring Bungie for 3.6 billion. Madness. What's going on with the world? So, you warriors, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. You know I appreciate you guys. And um, please, let me know what you guys think, man. Because this is some crazy stuff that's going on, man. And as Jim Ryan said, we should expect more when it comes to further PlayStation acquisitions. The words of the Sony PlayStation whatever... Sony Gaming Industries CEO. I don't know what his position is. Right. All I know is that he is the CEO of the Sony PlayStation brand. Yeah. Those are his words to the letter. Let's see what happens. So yeah, Warriors, I want to say thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in. You know I appreciate you guys. And uh, catch you in the next video. Laters.